anything. Well, you need to learn how to keep your men in line better, mate. Mate. But I didn't come here to talk about these hot-headed daft villains. They could be dead from the neck up for all I care. He has the proper city. Sorry, I kind of, uh, I kind of drink, drank water too fast. He has the proper city to forget one tiny detail. I own him. I want to seethe and rage, remind him who exactly the boss here is. I very well can, thanks to the wonders of soundproofing. But the stress and nervous expression on his face stops me from giving him a tongue lashing. It will really do me no good to be at odds with me when he does prove to be a useful ally from time to time. So I listen when he speaks, focusing on the smell of coffee and cigarettes that filled the room in order to curb my tongue. For now. But boy, when you let a man like Harvey Lee speak, he speaks a lot. Look, all I'm asking is that you be a bit patient with them. You do realize a good chunk of them don't work. They aren't with you, so to speak. Bunch of kids who feed the police are superheroes of some cock and bull. Yeah, I guess. They, uh, they don't know how things work around here. Especially that fray boy. The lot of them are just tired. And why are you telling me this? I was going to ask you if you knew anything about it. Perhaps one of yours, no. There's been a string of uh, unfortunate incidents as of late. Unfortunate incidents? Just recently, some bloke named Christian Sai was acting all nuts. Off his rocker, that man. And we had to hold him, thought he was drunk. Up until he started bashing his brains in. Oh yeah, I remember that. Now he's a vegetable in hospital bed. Another time, some Mark Julius was reported missing. Some are thinking we've got a serial killer on our hands as of late. Mark Julius? That is new, I did not know about that guy. That Cooper lady from BRC got done in and... A, uh, a father Norman too. You have to understand, mate. In a place as uh, peaceful as Luxburn, this makes people wary. Reported crime rates go a bit higher than usual and it makes them antsy and temperamental. Wait, whoa, 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 wait. Father Norman went crazy? Oh shit, it was the priest from the beginning. Do you remember when we um, went to the theater and Zach uh, proposed to Isabella to hire a priest to bless the house? That was him. Are you implying that I have anything to do with them? Because as much as I hate to say it and admit, I am out of the loop. This is the first I've heard of these incidents. Really, I'd say I'm insulted, but this is par for the course. Harvey knows who and what I am. We have the deal of source after all. Oops, I wanted to unmute my mic one second. Crime is always expected in a society with laws and with humans who are allowed their free will. But why not strike a deal with the devil to make sure that said crimes has some order at least? Ah, well, that's a shame, I suppose. Figured if we could get any leads, it'd be from you. Oh, the cam was um, off once again. There you go. Hey, I'm here. I can't stop the scoff that leaves me. Can these police officers really be so incompetent? The chief of the damn police forces force seems to be to find it amusing, however. Because as far as I can see, whether he believes it or not, he's got it easy on our little deal. Just has to sit back and relax. Let me do my thing and not turn against me while he gets to live a comfy life. 
But perhaps that's why that's why I have not killed him off yet. His predecessor to the position was not so agreeable. You know, someday I'll stop turning in my own men when they piss me off. And what will you do then? <laughs> you and your men will all be lost without me. <laughs> I'll just hope that when the time comes, I'll already be all wrinkly and retired then. It's the play of his, it always is, to act casual and chuckling at everything like it doesn't faze him. Pretends is one of those kind wise old man types so that people can bring themselves to be angry at him. They have seen him drunk of his horse, bemoaning of his fate. What he's become, though he tries to be as vague as he can even in his inebriated state. And I've seen the maddest this man is capable of. That's why he confuses me with how he reacts to what I say next. So what is our little gollywog looking at? Now there's never a time or place for that kind of racist talk, son. Oh, take that, Luke. He cuts me off in a firm tone before I can say anything further. There is steel in his eyes and he near slams his fist on the table when he does. And I can't tell but sight. Realizing that he's going through one of his self-righteous tricks. Tricks, rare as they may be. You know our little deal ties up my hands when it comes to a lot of things with you. But I hear that Steel is a good kid, and I ask you at least show a bit of respect. Ooh, take that, Luke. He's a felon. I think I'm entitled to call him what I please. I don't owe him any respect at all. In my pocket, he may be. But he still chose the path of the policeman himself when he was a young man. And I bet it just boils in his blood that he has to deal with the likes of me. But I in turn hate this side of him that makes him think he's still some do-gooder. Some hero of justice. Because spineless fools were useful self-righteous, self-righteous. Once forced to do away with them eventually. You put plenty of your own white men in jail. I don't see you calling them a, I don't know, a white cracker or whatever lingo they have nowadays. Yeah. And if not respect, you can at least owe the lads some basic human decency. Tch, whatever. But if you gotta stick up your ass about it, I'll concede. Yeah. He's going behind bars either way, for however long that is. Besides, what does it matter if it's black or white? The color of his skin doesn't change anything about the current his circumstances. It's a trifle matter to arg over. It's six months and a fine worth 5,000 for breaking and entering. Unless you'd be willing to go easy on the guy. Let him bump it down to a misdemeanor and juvenile offense. We'll be giving him probation and charge him for the damages. And that's it? That's it. That's what a white man gets and that's what he gets too. Unless you're going to stir up a fuss and make a big deal out of this. In case you've forgotten, I do what I want, Lee. I don't even see why you protect the man. He's nothing but a petty thief. And won't that look bad on you? The Luke Wright, getting his panties in a bunch over a petty thief. You said it yourself. He's nothing. Not worth your attention or effort. So why don't you just let me handle it like I'm supposed to? And I do hate to say it, but it's got me there. I hate that. All, of, all this power comes with a great balancing act. Be too likes and people will think they could get away with the smartest of things. Be too harsh and people will... Well, they'll not want to work with me for long and that's never a good thing in the long term. And it shows on me poorly if I were to fuss over such an insignificant little maggot. Now is that all you're here for? Well, there is another another thing I want to ask. What? Can't I visit a friend? That detective. Feathers. Should I be concerned about him? He seemed keen. Feathers? He's talking about Ashton? Oh, you mean Frey. You mean Frey. Nah, he's not really anything to worry about. I got him assigned to your case to make the old thing believable. The boy's a good detective, one of the best I have on the force. 
But he won't be able to do shit with all the red tape tying him up. In fact, the higher-ups just took him off your tail. The case against me? I still have one? I still have one? Harvey, my dear old friend, have you been slacking off? Surely I told you to take care of that sort of thing. Surely it shouldn't have taken you this long. Surely it should be quiet by now on your end. Luke is hiding something. They shouldn't be assigning anything to what's supposed to be a cold case. I doubt you've got anything to really worry about unless you go out there and announce the shit you've done. Oh shit, so he, he did some stuff. They don't want to accuse the most powerful man in Luxburn without being 100% sure about things, of course. The way he goes about it so nonchalantly. But it's because of that company problem Suave has been talking about. Can't believe that's still a thing. You think the geek would have figured it out by now? He's supposed to be a computer genius. Don't go blaming me for it. He's the one slacking off if you ask me. Don't you be pointing fingers my way. And has Suarez mentioned anything new about that? Uh, you'd have to ask him about it. You know I don't understand half the technical computer mumbo jumbo the guy goes on about. Mumbo jumbo. It's like the guy speaks a whole other language. Which technically he does, but you know what I mean. Yes, I suppose you have a point. Very well, if you haven't got anything else useful for me, I might as well head home. Get some bloody peace and quiet. I could have some tea, maybe with some whiskey and a nap. And I'd be as right as rain. At least one of us should get some good R&R because it looks like RV is not going to get any. Not with a commotion that started up outside the room. From inside the office, you can both clearly see something's come up. And opening the door lets the end of the place flew in with the officer going about and phones ringing up the storm. Looks like your children are in need of their minder, Harvey. Whatever could this be? What in places is going on here? What's the fucking fire? What's the fucking fire? There's uh, been a jumper, Chief. Oh crap, Rebecca. It's you the man is as, I, as car is ringing in and ringing all about it. A jumper in Luxburn? If I were not so tired, I'd give any more interest. Besides, going by what the officers on the phones are saying, it's probably far too late for this poor soul. They've already gone splat and all lines are clogged with the distress and the busy, busy buddies. It's not every day you hear about such things in this city. Or at least, it's not every day I hear about a jumper that I haven't caused. As if on cue, Harvey glances my way with a tight expression on his face. And I have to shake my head at him to say, No, this is not one of mine before I leave him to his bed. Yeah, Luke is evil. Stepping out from the chaos, I let in a breath of fresh air. Or as fresh as it's going to get in a city. I do hate going to the precinct. It's a fucking zoo filled with animals. People who step in included. But it's not like the city is any better. Humans are just a higher form of animals after all. We all delude ourselves into thinking otherwise. And I caught up the car to take me away from it all. Though I can't bring myself to step inside the house when I do get home. In a still resist, I assume. I hear nothing to say otherwise. But her voice or her laughter which will easily fill any space with cheer. Everything is quiet, other than the hum of engines from the car being brought away. A bird's cry sounds off from the gardens, snapping me out of my reverie and makes me look in that direction. It's an indecent decision to go there. If Anna is resting, recovering from sickness, I don't want to disturb her with how agitated and annoyed I am underneath the surface. No matter how well hidden I can keep it, not to mention, I've been neglecting the garden for too long. Might as well stay put out here for the time being. Grey skies loom over the horizon, though the sun fights for every precious minute it gets to say. It will rain again soon. 
with the wind bringing along the gloomy clouds normal to Luxburg. 